the Department of Material Science and Engineering at NC State University is now one of the largest material science and engineering departments in the United States. Our 30 plus faculty and nearly 300 students uh, are engaged in research and educational activities that span the breadth of the discipline. Historically, the Department of Material Science and Engineering at NC State is very strong in optical materials, electronic materials, and structural materials. And so this includes nitride semiconductors for LED lighting, as well as historic strength going back in terms of um, structural materials for nuclear systems and other applications. The most exciting thing this department is known for is three nitride-based materials and systems, like light-emitting diode, sensors, smart sensors, and doing called nanostructuring of these materials, which we discovered and patented. Today, every LED in this world being manufactured by the IP which was generated in this department. NC State is known for wideband gap semiconductors. Initially, uh, research started in the early 80s with silicon carbide, uh, and that research has actually showed that this material can be used for high power and high temperature electronics and now is actually being produced by Cree. Later on in the 90s a lot of research in NC State focused on gallium nitride which is now really the basis for all solid state lighting uh, and in the past decade uh, we've been focusing on aluminum nitride uh, which may become future materials for UV light sources and also for very efficient high power switching. What we're looking in the future is integration into other fields like oxide electronics. This is an emerging field that is just starting. So many things that we develop on the nitrates can be applied to these oxide electronic fields. And right now one application of this is the, the integration to biological systems. Yeah, these wideband gap semiconductors, because of their properties, seems to be very stable on biological environments, inside the human body, inside biological fluids. So that makes them very usable for this kind of uh, uh, applications of devices or detection for different type of things. The core strengths of the Department of Material Science and Engineering at NC State are first and foremost in the faculty, in the size of our faculty, their intellectual capacity, and the breadth and depth of the research and educational activities that they pursue. Uh, we also have great core strength in terms of our infrastructure, um, both computational and experimental, uh, including the new Titan microscope, but really spanning the entire realm of, of instrumentation that's needed to do 21st century material science research. The FBI Titan at NC State is unique, not just in North Carolina, but in the entire southeast region of the United States. And in fact, there are only maybe on the order of 20 microscopes of this caliber in the entire country. So are really part of an exclusive group of universities that have access to this instrumentation. The Titan enables us to explore materials at resolutions surpassing an angstrom. And what that allows us to do is really study the very fundamental details of how materials bond together at the atomic scale. The FBI Titan provides North Carolina State University with a competitive advantage when exploring the properties of materials. We can really connect the atomic structure with behavior. And not just NC State, but the entire research triangle of North Carolina will benefit from having access to our open facilities. One of the growing areas of research in, in the Department of Material Science and Engineering at NC State uh, is in soft materials. And this includes uh, research into to polymers, but also biomaterials, including things like controlled growth of proteins to the interactions of um, biomaterials with uh, inorganic materials and, and looking at how those materials interact, which is important when one thinks about how humanity interfaces with the world around it. My group has an expertise in uh, computational material science and specifically we focus on problems in soft matter from biological materials such as nucleic acid self-assembly to uh, polymeric uh, self-assembly and uh, colloidal science. We are trying to figure out the parameters, how to optimize the specific parameters used in the experiment in order to produce materials with desired properties. Our strengths in soft materials within our department has recently been um, recognized by National Science Foundation. Um, our department is participating in Triangle NORSEC, which is the center of access for materials. 
Material science and engineering at NC State is a great place for students for many reasons. We have a, a large and diverse faculty um, covering many areas. We have great instrumentation and, and resources, modern facilities, and then also for less common instruments and techniques, there's a lot of resources available around in the research triangle. The future for material science and engineering at NC State is very bright. We like to think of ourselves as, as spanning the range from new materials discovery all the way through manufacturing. And because of the size and breadth of our department, um, we're able to address all of these issues in a deep and meaningful way.